Hey, I'm Judson from Kootenai Backcountry Guides. We're out here on a beautiful day in the Whitewater Backcountry in the Hummingbird Pass area. And we're gonna talk about the terrain around Hummingbird Pass and some issues with it. So Hummingbird Pass is a common area that people move through to get up to Evening Ridge. There's lots of amazing skiing on the backside and the front side of Evening Ridge. And this turns into a little bit of a highway that people travel through. So just wanna make people aware of a few of the hazards that are going on in Hummingbird Pass. So the first thing is, if you look around behind me here, you can tell that Hummingbird Pass is a terrain trap. A terrain trap. So what is a terrain trap? A terrain trap is something that magnifies the consequences of an avalanche. And Hummingbird Pass is a terrain trap because it is a gully. And so what happens is, is any avalanches that come down off of these steep headwalls actually pile up deeper because the valley constricts the snow and doesn't allow it to spread out. So even a small avalanche, a size one, one and a half, can actually get deep enough to bury you. Number two is that because this is a pass, there's quite a bit of wind that rolls through here and that causes a bunch of uh, cross loading. And so this year in particular, we've seen quite a bit of wind ripping through and many days we've come up around here to uh, put on courses and uh, we've run into avalanches that have actually spilled off of these headwalls due to wind loading and cross loading going on in the valley. The other thing is that there is quite a bit of steep slopes. So if you look up above, there's a bunch of cliffs with unsupported features on them. It, uh, there are 35 plus degree slopes that threaten this, uh, this valley regularly. Um, the, so there are a few ways that you can mitigate your hazard when you're running through Hummingbird Pass. The first is if you do decide to pass through it, do make sure that you're always spread out. So you want to be spread out so that if anything were to happen, you don't get multiple people caught into an avalanche. If you were two people in a group and both of you get caught, there isn't anybody to dig you out. So that's super important. The next thing that you can do is actually pick a side and when you're actually traveling up Hummingbird Pass, I suggest to pick the right side. Instead of putting the track right through the middle of the valley, if you tour up a little bit on the right, you can significantly reduce your exposure to all of the slopes on the left-hand side. So the next thing that you can do is actually choose to go around. So there's a super safe way going up through Molly Hogan Mine up above here that completely eliminates your hazard by going around. Yes, it takes a little bit longer, but on days when we have considerable hazard, wind, snow, chance of natural avalanches, or even human triggered, you can easily walk around Hummingbird Pass. So if you're looking for a course this year and you wanna learn how to do these things in the field from our guides, head on over to KootenyBackcountryGuides.com. We have managing avalanche terrain courses. We have AST1 courses, we have AST2, and we have Backcountry 101 courses.